Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this video, we're gonna show you how you can gate an event alert dashboard on your front end using our alert add on or event alerts add on for WP Event Manager. In our previous videos, we showed you how to install the event alert add on and activate it. So, we're gonna use the same for today's video. So, you can find more details about this procedure on our knowledge base for that you can visit our official website at wp-eventmanager.com from there you can find the knowledge base link at the footer section from here and then in the knowledge base page under the add-ons you will see event alerts inside here you will find all the documentation or knowledge base for the event alerts add-on Today we are using the event alert dashboard for that we require a short code to place on a page to get the event alert dashboard in the front end side. So you can obtain the short code from how to get event alerts dashboard from here. As you can see we have this short code listed over here that we can copy in our clipboard that we will use later on in this video. So the part over here is done. We can go back to our WordPress environment. From here we can click on new then create a page from here we can title our page as event alerts we can paste the shortcode here and don't get confused if you don't see the page editor like this on your website because i am using the code editor version of the editor over here by default it always the visual editor version of the wordpress editor so that looks like this but i use the code editor as it's very convenient and useful to work with short codes in the wordpress website so that's out of the way we can publish this page and we will see that in our front end side in a new tab we will see we have a new table with alert name keywords categories location frequency status and date created so from this dashboard we can add an alert to by clicking this button over here if we click this we will go to our event alerts form we have a dedicated video about this event alert form about its functionalities and input values as well so from here we can create alerts so let me go ahead and fill out these details so we can add an alert for ourselves and show it in the event dashboard in real time so let's say test alert for our name keyword so let's say nature location this is optional i can choose it or not i mean these all fields over here are basically optional but feel free to tweak them as per your need so like what kind of alerts based on what criteria you want to receive for the events so next we have categories from here we can choose multiple categories by selecting them like this and then we have our event types so we can select event types as well like this and we have the email frequency so this defines the frequency of alert events receiving at your inbox we can select daily we can select weekly and fortnightly. And at the bottom, we have a save alert button. If we click this, we will redirect to our event dashboard in a short moment. So, as you can see, so we have a success message saying your alerts have been updated. And we see our alert over here. So that we can view from here trigger and mail, edit it, and mark it disabled or even delete it. Right. So we can see the parameters we have entered for the alert as well. So that's keyword our alert name over here the categories we chose and since we didn't choose any location so that's blank the frequency and the status and the date we have created the alert on so that's pretty much the alert dashboard page for wp event managers alert add-on using a single line of short code but our add-on does allow you to create this page automatically in time of installation via and setup wizard you can choose to do it automatically from there as well or you can skip the setup wizard and do it manually like i did over here so after doing all these changes we need to do a little configuration on our settings end to accommodate these changes for that we can go to our wordpress dashboard from here we can go to event manager then settings we can switch to our event alerts tab from here we will see a drop down called 
alert page id so from here we can choose the page we have just created using the shortcode event alerts and save changes this step is not mandatory if you have used the setup wizard in terms of installing the plugin it will create the page automatically and even select it over here but since we chose the manual route and created the page by ourselves using shortcode we need to set the page manually from here so this step is very crucial for the operation to happen if we didn't set the alert page id from here what would happen if we went to our event single details page so that we can visit from here let's select this event and if you scroll down this button over here wouldn't show up over here right so by clicking this link we can create a new alert related to that event so from here we can save the alert using these parameters over here and call it a day so that was a very quick video about how to create the event alert dashboard page using a shortcut and configure it in the backend side at settings section i hope you found it useful i'm shall signing off thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one